Next, um, to, to conclude our, our program today, um, it's an honor to welcome back to the University of Chicago, uh, Becky Levine. Uh, Be Becky graduated from Pritzker, Becky, three, four years ago? Yes, and, um, and was one of the originators of the, um, uh, of the University of Chicago uh, Poetry Contest. Um, and um, uh, I just want to call the group's attention to this issue of academic medicine from uh, December of 2014, uh, which has two articles, one on poetry and professionalism by Holly Humphrey, and a second one by Becky Levine, Holly, and others called The Healing Arts, the University of Chicago Pritzker School of Medicine Poetry Contest, which published all of last year's submissions, uh, not just the winners, but all of the submissions. But Becky will be awarding uh, th this year's um, awards to the poetry uh, contestants. Becky. Um, first, I just wanted to thank the Buxbaum Institute for supporting the Pritzker Poetry Contest. Um, I'm very grateful for that, um, as I'm sure everyone else is. Um, First, I just wanted to start out with a little history on the Pritzker Poetry Contest. Uh, as Dr. Siegler mentioned, it started in 2012, and uh, Dr. Rama Jager approached uh, Maggie Nolan, one of my classmates, and me, and um, he was very inspired by a recent article he had read about um, a poetry contest um, at a similar uh, academic institution that had a huge effect on the community in terms of promoting kind of passionate pa or compassionate patient care and strong doctor-patient relationships. Um, and so Maggie and I were very excited to do this contest with him because at the time we were third year medical students and um, we had both found that humanities was a really powerful way to heal our patients. Um, Maggie had been writing kind of beautiful reflective poems throughout her third year rotation. Um, and I had been reading poems to patients to, to help comfort them when traditional therapies weren't working. Um, and so uh, we you know, decided to organize the, the contest. And it was just remarkable what a great participation we got the first year and the, the um, content of these poems. Um, now I'm one of the judges of the contest, which is a true honor. And um, I, I think I speak for all the judges when I say that, that each and every one of these poems were remarkably beautiful and um, remind us all of how lucky we are to be in this uh, noble profession and um, to have the opportunity to make meaningful differences in people's lives every day. So um, in our minds, you know, all of the participants are winners <laughs> of this contest. Um, but I will announce um, the, the, the winners as well. Um, so there are two categories of the Pritzker Poetry Contest. There's the six word um, poem category and the open. So first for the winners of the six word uh, category. Um, the second place six word category uh, winner uh, was Dr. Bo Young Chung, who is a cardiology fellow here. Um, is he here to recite his poem? Yeah. Um, so the poem was inspired uh, the day after a patient had received a successful heart transplant. Um, the room was full of family and, fa uh, family and friends who had come to pray for the patient, spilling out of the patient's room, all holding hands and praying together. Um, it's one donor, 40 recipients, one heart. Thanks. Thank you, that was beautiful. Um, so the next one is the first place for the six word category. Um, and it's by Haznan al Karsan, a Pritzker student. Uh, so the poem that I wrote uh, was inspired really, uh, it goes back to a mentor I had, uh, it was my band director when I was younger, and he used to say that uh, whenever you make a decision, uh, just remember at the end of the day, when you, when you pass away, you're passing away, all that you have left is who you are. Um, and since entering medical school, I've realized that there's um, kind of a category of diseases that uh, really rob you of that. And, um, so the poem that I wrote about was specifically about Alzheimer's, um, and it goes, when I cannot remember, don't forget. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that powerful poem, too. 
Um, the next one is the second place um, from the open form uh, poetry category. Uh, and the, uh, the winner for this was Dr. Arun Aneja, who is a musculoskeletal oncology fellow um, uh, who could unfortunately not be here today. So I have the honor of reading this poem to you all. Uh, where does it hurt? When did it start? 20 pounds weight loss since end of March. Have you seen the films? Has it spread very far? Biopsy reassure me, lend me more than a scar. The other doctors, what do they seem to think? Chemo, radiation, willing to throw the kitchen sink? Nights of nausea and hair falling. Clinical trials, I can hear them calling. Are these the ways you wish to spend the end? The pain persists even after I have taken the limb. These are the thoughts in my head they grow as I ask the patients, or excuse me, the parents, the child already knows. Um, okay, so the next one is the first place open form, cat form category winner, and that's um, Victoria Okenai. She's a Pritzker student, um, and she will read her poem, An Intern's Prayer. My hands are stubs of insecurity. My fingernails are stubs of insecurity. Chipped fuchsia, canvases of neglect. My hands are rough. There are calluses and blisters, anything but smooth. I'm afraid these hands weren't made to soothe. See how my pinky still quivers, how the scalpel shakes within these hands, like they'll scale up to break someone, or worse yet, someone. Sorry, <laughs> or worse yet, someone. Most days, I can't save myself. These palms have never healed anyone. So even though I don't pray much, I'm on my knees, fingers clasped, begging the Lord for gifted hands. And so, um, yeah, it's inspired, like everyone else said, by um, just the anxiety that comes with being um, a doctor in training and how like I don't really know anything yet. Um, and sometimes I'm a screw up, but I'm supposed to be entrusted with saving other people's lives. And I'm sure that's something we've all experienced and transitioned hopefully past. Thank you. Thank you, ver thank you very much, Becky, and congratulations to all the winners um, very moving poems. Um, I, I had the honor of, like Becky, being on the um, uh, uh, committee that, that uh, evaluated the poems, and I must say um, the, the poems were all spectacular. Um, well, I, I'd like to bring to a conclusion uh, the fourth annual uh, Buxbaum Institute Symposium. I thank you all for coming, and um, I look forward to um, reconvening uh, in a year, uh, roughly to the date. And um, I wanted to thank Mrs. Buxbaum and to thank our distinguished um, advisory board, uh, Arthur Rubenstein, Jordan Cohen, and Laura Roberts. Jo join me in thanking them.